Hey everyone, SillyCat2 here. Welcome back from more Mega Man Battle Network 2. If I sound a little freaked out, it's because one of my friends is watching My Little Pony as I'm recording this episode. So, yeah. You know who I'm talking about. If you're that friend. Anyway, this is the Undernet. Mystery data is loaded with viruses a lot. The viruses are just all around more powerful. And the undernet itself is a maze. So yeah, good luck in here. Fortunately, I pretty sure I know my way around pretty well. I think. The yellow ice here will keep you from going anywhere right now. These shrimpy threes can get really dangerous really fast, so try and take them out as soon as you can, especially if you're a fire element. If you go over here, there's a bug frag. I kind of just discovered that completely by accident just now. You stupid spooky thing, you used Recover 120 on me, how dare you! And now I am relieved because Russ is talking about how much manlier Gurren Lagan is than My Little Pony, so yeah. Electric Blade R, we... Actually, I don't know if we want to get that right now. Might just be better to wait. Full custom we should get one of, though. The HP memories, of course. A grab Revenge. and a single attack plus 20. Do I still have those attack plus 10s in my folder? It doesn't look like I do. Alright, now we've done that, we want to go up this way. Flappy Threes. These enemies killed me so many times the first time I played the uh, previous game. Needless to say, they're difficult enemies. Whoa. What's most annoying about them is their cross-shaped attack pattern, so you gotta move twice just to dodge them. Going up here will take you to Undernet 2, I believe. This guy's up there getting any closer, we've had it. We best pull back for our own sakes. I've never been able to figure out what those signboards are talking about. It seems like it's trying to scare you, but still, it's just kind of spooky, I guess. I mean, of course, if it's trying to scare you, it would be spooky, but you know what? I'm just going to shut up now. Yeah, I'm, my dodging skills are sharp enough that <laughs> these guys don't really pose much of a threat to me, I suppose. Undernet 2. 
I believe we want to go to the, this inner ramp first because there's a mystery data here. And it is for an HP memory. You know, 680... No, 740 maximum HP. Not bad at all. No. This is the virus with the black hole chip. The most annoying thing about them is definitely that they recover HP. But if you take them out in one hit like I just did, that doesn't really matter now, does it? Get over here so I can airman you. That sounds like a really weird innuendo or something, I don't know. And seriously, what does that even mean? So I can airman you? <laughs> what? Turn here, down the hill, under net 3. Go ahead for undersquare. I may look like a bad guy, but I'm really nice, right? Yeah, maybe. I wouldn't trust you with my account passwords, though. <laughs> Boom. Dead. Wait, you mean I didn't get a chip from that? You want to go down the hill here. Get this. It's a thousand zennies, not bad. Flappy threes again. See what happens if he lands on a rock cube. Oh, instant kill! That is so awesome. Let's see. Hey, you. So yeah, now you know what to do with those rock cubes. <laughs> What's up? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, looks like this is going to be a pretty short episode because I have to get going really soon. So as soon as we get into the undersquare, I guess I'm out of here. No, 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 no. Okay. There we go, the Whirlpool chip. It kills viruses if their HP is below a certain threshold. Can't recall what that threshold is off the top of my head, but... Well, here we are, and in the next episode, we're going to go into the Undersquare. So, see you guys then.